All right, this is going to be the video that everybody asks about. This is actually going to be the start of the aftermath, but if you look, the car doesn't look run yet. That's because it hasn't. I'm actually doing this um, after I shot the it's Derby Day video, but we just decided, somebody decided, a long-haired long dude that was in the back corner over there, decided, why don't we peel the old vinyl off? I think that looks pretty damn cool. So that's what she's going to actually be looking like once we get to uh, to Waiwiga. So, all right, time for the aftermath of the Lumina. Obviously, the video that everybody always wants to see. Is this the last aftermath for this car? Let's take a look. This was an awesome show. I had easily the most fun I've had in a derby yet this year. I got to lay what I feel like were some big hits. I haven't gone in and actually watched the tape yet. Hopefully it'll look just as good on camera. It certainly felt like I was making some big hits. But this car has definitely seen better days. It is in rough shape. So I wanted to get this video started so you can see how it went on the trailer. Bumper's broken off on this side. Obviously everything's folded up a little bit up front. And boy, in the back, she is in even worse shape. Well, I don't know if it's worse shape. We'll show you a little bit better here. But tire coming underneath the back end. It's all blown apart overall. Definitely definitely a hard run but for now I am going to pop the hood off of this thing so you guys can actually get a little bit better look I think that's going to give us a better uh, better view of exactly uh, what happened inside of this thing so hold on just a second we'll get this hood popped off so you can see exactly what happened to the Lumina all right there we go we got the hood off of it um, over here definitely not by any trace of it its own that's for sure um, it had kind of become one with the front of the car. So, let's take a look at the actual damage. We'll start over here. Bent there. Good bend there. Everything on this side actually stayed standing up. She's still pretty straight. Oh, you can see she pushed back a little bit again. That motor's definitely laying back again. Sitting at a pretty good angle, actually drop down quite a bit but we'll show you that that's a little bit harder to see but you can kind of see where things bent in there the real damage so obviously you can see where everything was folded in there where it comes back to right there where it's all kind of collapsing on itself obviously the core supports tilted down quite a bit in here you can see where everything got pushed back to where the frame kinked to where it is actually into the pulleys and you look down in there I know that part's a little bit harder to see but it is just it, it's completely inside I mean it's definitely pushed as far over as it can go it's touching against the motor pretty hard belt obviously blew apart not a real big deal at that point you can see how bad the strut towers collapsed again wheel still standing straight check that out though that cradle completely dumped. She's sticking almost straight up in the air. And you can see back in the... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Check out the kink that that thing's got in there. I wish that showed up better. Hopefully it'll look good once I get it up on screen. But, I mean, you can see that thing's kinked. I mean, that's, that's a hard, hard bend, that's for sure. And it actually dropped back here, starting to shoot down at an angle. Nothing serious for door shots on this side. It's still, well, that did move back a little bit more. Try to go around. I want them to be able to see. Yeah, there we go. I still got these damn tires in the way. Let's see if I can get one of those out of the way so you can see just how far the back end of this thing came in. She definitely kinked really hard. Um, one thing I thought was funny after I was out, um, my roof sign, that's right where I was laying. It's under, you can see it's under here, under the tire. It was laying right there. I gotta go back and watch the video. I'm not sure where that came off, but my roof sign actually ended up inside the car with me. You can see 
I will get around to that side. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm feeling a couple of those hits. See where the back end came in here. Not touching the tire. But she definitely folded. We get a better better view from this side. We did pound this lid down before we actually went out and ran. And yeah, she definitely came in pretty hard. This the rest of this control arm over here broke pretty good. Tires getting up underneath the body. And you can definitely see in there where everything started to blow apart. I'm actually pretty happy with how it held together overall for as rough as we knew the back of this thing was. I mean, you can see she came in quite a bit, but you know, for just being chained, no welding, the door stayed there, didn't completely blow apart. A couple little, uh, you know, like door to door type of thing, nothing overly serious. Did put a hole through my driver's door, but nothing crazy. What do you guys think of the logo? I thought that turned out pretty cool. What actually took me out? So, on the last hit, you guys will see it. Um, that's a hit I could have avoided, but I chose not to, and uh, definitely had a huge smile on my face as I was going. This guy back here, she dropped down also, and it did disconnect the steering. So, um, if you guys have seen W bodies, typically as this starts to bend, the cradle starts to come down. If you don't have an aftermarket steering column, the steering will actually pull apart. This is not a, definitely not an uncommon thing. That's why so many people run aftermarket steering columns. And you can see, I mean, she's, oh, that's the plastic, but it's all bent. I mean, it's definitely seen better days. So once that broke, I dropped it into drive and I could feel that my steering was gone. Went into reverse, backed up, dropped it back into drive and got pushed into the wall pretty good. And while I got pushed into the wall, this tire hit the wall, made contact, and again, just like in Beaver Dam, I was foot to the floor just trying to get the car to do something since I knew that I had broke steering, and you can see it. Oh, come on, camera. Where am I? Right there she is. Another empty axle cup. Uh, completely spit that thing out once again. So, but I mean, with as far gone as this thing was, no steering, all that, I don't know that there was really much more I'd have been able to do anyway. I mean, look at that stuff. Just all mangled. I love it. It's, this is the type of hits I want to be able to make. This is the type of show that I want to be able to put on. You guys might not think it was impressive. That's fine. I had a blast. I got to hear the crowd cheering on the hits. That's the type of stuff that gets me excited. That's the reason that I derby. I don't derby for trophies and money. This is this is just a stress release to go out and, and just have a damn good time. So, what's going to become of the now 4 ran Lumina? She is done. She is going to get taken off to her final resting place after we get a bunch of stuff out of it. Literally, as soon as I turn this camera off, it's starting to sprinkle now, but as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to go start the next video going up on YouTube and I'm going to come out and start pulling parts off of this thing. Um, she is just too far gone. The cradle's gone. The front sub's gone. The rear end is blowing apart. Steering, the amount of work that it would go into this thing, to me, I can be 100% satisfied in taking this thing to the junkyard. You guys are probably tired of seeing it anyway. So we're going to get this thing junked. We'll get her stripped out in a couple days here. I'll take her to the junkyard. Finally be able to get rid of some of this crap I got sitting over here. And uh, We'll start working on the next project. What's the next project? Guys, you're going to want to see what we got to come. Um, I've got a big task ahead of me if I can pull it off. Um, I think you guys will enjoy it. It should be a ton of fun. So I'm going to get this next week is going to be crazy. We're going to get as many videos up as we can in the process, but uh, we're, we're going to have a heck of a run as we get prepped and ready to go to the Portage County Fair for the Rochelle Demolition Derby. Same place with that Mad Dog Trophy is going to. So. I'm going to go get started on getting this thing tore apart, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, we had a blast. Um, enjoyed talking to a few people there. It was definitely a ton of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much for following along. As always, get goosed.